Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite Explosive. When Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I do have the sticks. And we're playing Madden 20, the Houston Oilers. Houston Oilers. <laughs> As always, we're playing offense only, simming that D. Balanced playbook, all Madden difficulty on arcade mode. Dude, the first ever. John Gruden's our coach, folks. Boom. <laughs> is, he, is he a real man? Ever. John Gruden? John Gruden is a real man, and this is the first ever season of the Houston Oilers. What? And bring him in. <laughs> hey, Wait, what? Yeah. What? I don't know. Is there is there something I'm missing? The John Gruden he, yeah, Houston dude, he's Oilers he's a, connection. He's a pretty famous coach. Oh, okay. I didn't yeah. know. All right. Well, let me know, man. You're talking to me, and I don't know Ish. And what That's if somebody true. else I that doesn't knew who that guy was? Somebody else you. might not know Ish, and they might be yeah, watching this. We're back to Nyheim Hines, who got knocked out with a bruised sternum in the first game. But he was holding his arm. Yeah, dude. It's not where the sternum is. It's sent neurological impulses down to it. <laughs> oh my God, my sternum hurts so bad, my wrist locked up. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? All right, TNT. You know what we're gonna do, man? We're gonna continue the uh, random word association talks in these videos. Uh, I mean, I kind of figured that's what we were doing anyway. We yeah, did, yeah. We did well, it during the Desperado, so I, we, I mean, we didn't really do that in Desperados, did we? Yeah, yeah, we okay, absolutely cool. did. All right, today. Today's word is. Get out of here. No, just do it. Just do it. Just do what you do, man. Just know that I hate it. How do you they feel about the really making food out of deer? Very good infusion you mean like cooking, like hunting? How do you feel like using deer as sustenance? Jonas, I'm a vegan, man. You know how I feel. It's not because you love the animals. Oh, yeah, that's true. I mean, it, like you're all like, I don't like how they treat the chickens. You're like, I love chicken. It's good. All right, well, look, check this out, man. Okay. This is this is coming from your vegan buddy, Dynamite. All right, cool. I would eat any anything you put in front of me for the most. Part, all right, Fair not I mean, not now since I've changed my life or whatever, right, 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 yeah. but when I was a an omnivore, dude, you put a dog, a cat, a, a pheasant, a rat, whatever animal, shark, uh, wow, freaking chihuahua, lizard. I'm, would not eat dogs and cats. I would 100% eat if you cook that some be right. You put some adobo on that beef. <laughs> adobo on anything. Yeah, exactly. Okay. There's countries where they eat these animals, right, and I don't see a problem with it. And people are like, oh no, it turns my skin. Freaking pigs are cute too. Boom. Shelton Gibson, we're getting him involved. We get him two TDs and some, some hundred yards. He's a star. What is he? He's not gonna be a star with those moves. Nah, but you're like right. pigs are cute and baby cows are cute too. And cats are cute. Dogs are cute. They're all animals are cute. Every animal when it's a baby is cute. This is what it happens. Baby animals. Yeah, every animal is cute when it's a baby. Okay. You give me a baby ugly animal and make make or you give me. An ugly a animal. Baby ugly animal. Yeah, you, <laughs> give me an Jesus. ugly animal. Give me a baby version of that. It's freaking cute. And guess what? I'll eat it. I'll eat your freaking Just babies. It's cute, you'll eat their babies. Yes. Okay. So no, I don't have a problem with deer or any other type of meat eating it. I just know it doesn't all taste okay. good. All right. New question. The piggyback off that. What if you had to actually go hunt it and kill it and make it your own? Have you ever been hunting? I have not, dude. No. I mean, I'm not opposed to hunting, but I just, I never, like, which is really weird because, like, my grandfather hunted a lot mm -hmm. and had a bunch of guns and stuff, but he never, like, we never went hunting. My dad never went hunting either. Well, at, when I was, like, grown, he may have went when he was a kid. Or this, is, this is a very odd thing right here because I'm black and I've actually been hunting. Really? Yes. Wow. It's lame, Jonas. You just sit there still and wait for something. No, nah, we weren't like deer standing it. Even though there was a deer stand there, I wasn't all about jumping in some trees. I'm like, what? As a child, as a grown man. Uh, I was living in PA at the time, so it was probably in my mood. I was younger than I am now. So you were, so you were this out happened of high about, school. Yeah, it happened about 12 years ago or so. Oh, okay. So you were, I mean, you were an adult. 
offense. Yes. Okay, I didn't know if you... I mean, because a lot of people get drug out with their family when they're, like, 12 because yeah. somebody... No, I was working at I was working at a place, and some guy was like, we were just talking about hunting. I'm like, I ain't going hunting. I'll go hunt the aisle at the, <laughs> at the grocery yeah, store. Right, right. And he was like, no, you should come hunting with me, uh, Dynamite. You really should. In fact, I'm taking my boy out hunting today. Why don't you come out? And I was like... All right, man. I was like, let's go. I got like Timberlands on, and like <laughs> I already got Timberlands. I got like, on, so Timberl- I got, like Timberlands on jeans, of course a Cleveland Indians hat. <laughs> you were like the most out of place person in the world. <laughs> like a true true religion bomber jacket on, and I'm like, yeah, let's get this hunting thing going. Dude, I can totally see you. I, mean, I guarantee you're not being facetious about what you were wearing. <laughs> Yeah, dude, you're out there. So, so I'm out there, like, looking like I'm straight off a, a New York City corner or whatever. <laughs> he just got off the subway. <laughs> and we're, we're walking around, and, like, he just, it, it was totally illegal. He's like, we just, like, stop, pull off on the side of the road. We're just, like, some woods. Wait a second. That's not legal, dude. Yeah, we were, like, mate, and we <laughs> going to show my boy. <laughs> What is we were going after deer. We were going after rabbit, but we were using quail shot. Okay. And it was like, and he was just like, just make sure you don't shoot near, the, don't shoot towards the road. Don't. You just stole that touchdown. He jumped in front of it and grabbed Good. it. Hey, I'll take it. He needs to buff his stats, man. Yeah, he does. Well, we're trying to get the other guy. Oh, he's jealous because the other guy's trying to get some play. Anyway, so you're that's, rabbits. That, yeah, did you so, shoot at any, did you shoot at them at all first? Yes, but we didn't catch anything. We didn't get anything. Did you personally shoot a gun at a rabbit? I mean, I shot where I thought a rabbit might be, dude. <laughs> Look, it's I, like looks like the bottom of that tree would have a rabbit. Yeah, like I don't really go around shooting at animals or people for that matter, so I'm not really like well versed in like the the right way to shoot at a man. Yeah, man. I'm I'm no John Wick, my man. So. <laughs> no John yeah, All right, not. I can. I respect nice you not trying to be but, a hunting pro. Yeah, far yeah, from. But I have gone hunting, and I don't really see a problem with hunting. No, nah, man, it sends out the animal population. They don't overrun areas. Uh, Maybe need to send out the human population. You can't hunt humans, dude. It's the ultimate game. Who says you can't? Then, Vaughn said that, that hunting humans was the ultimate. Animal. I understand that, but who says you can't hunt humans? You know? uh, the law, buddy. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure they're doing that. In China? <laughs> yeah, and the Ayatollah of wherever the hell. Uh, the Ayatollah of wherever. I believe. I'm not exactly sure what country that is, but wherever sounds like a wonderful place. Especially for hunting humans. <laughs> Bro, why are you getting caught up, man? I don't like it. Yeah, I don't know, Jonas. I don't really get the thrill out of it it seems to me like it just is a way for guys to still have that primal urge of i made the food i brought it in for my family i think it's another thing for guys to get out of the house like golfing yeah like it's like one of those things that guys can go do with their friends and their wives aren't going to come along and yeah and that's i don't know it's like they're just like i get to get up get out what they're serving it up dude everybody get the Dude, it, it comes full circle. Dude. Every he's just body. feeding everybody grapes, dude. Wow, look at those boys. Yeah, I was man, thinking Italian never, ice, honestly. Yeah, right. That's I've what never I said. wanted to go hunting. Like, I mean, I would go. Like, I'm, I'm a, I'm a pretty big proprietor of. I'll try just about whatever. All right, how about fishing? I have been fishing a couple times. Yeah, I you do go? enjoy fishing. Where'd you go fishing? Uh, I went fishing. Freshwater, obviously. I have, I've fished like on the side of the pond before. Yeah, right, I've also, my mom's boyfriend took me out to some lakes in Minnesota that are freshwater. We went fishing. Um, but it was very, very little. We caught a couple bass and some walleye, and uh, and we cooked them. Up, went home and they, he, well, he gutted them and did all the stuff. I don't know how to do all that. See, and you still get the same primal feeling of like you come home with the meat the women are happy i get it i do i do get it i I do get it i'm just not an outdoorsman like that like i don't camp i don't hunt i don't go fish i would i just never never had the opportunity as i mean you got all the opportunity in the world now man yeah dude but like it's no but what i mean by opportunity is that people i know didn't do a lot of people who go camping and do all that stuff they have family who camp or they have friends who camp, or they have friends who hunt, or I didn't realize we didn't have any timeouts for some reason, and now we're not going to get a touchdown. Um, so, you know, a lot of times the things you do are because of opportunity. 
you know, if you grow up in the country and you have nothing to do, you're going to go hunt, you're going to go fish, you're going to camp, you're going to make fires, you're going to cut wood. You live in the city, you're not going to do that stuff. I've already we, always lived wait, 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 when we were growing up, we did not live in the city. But it was more of a city than people who lived in the country. There were... Let's you could drive now. <laughs> you could drive in the Saybrook and go camping. Capital. Right, dude, but, you, but we didn't, I didn't live in Saybrook. The, <laughs> <laughs> the Bengals trying to even their market one and one. After dropping you their do opener, realize that go. week we come from a town from that is like 1,600 <laughs> square feet of actual living area, and the rest was all just like run down crack houses and dude, woods. I went camping. I went camping. Did we go camping? We used to do bonfires. We used to do bonfires. Already? Oh, yeah. I've, I've done bonfires, dude. Yeah, but we had to drive out to the country. I didn't do a bonfire in the backyard of my house because I couldn't. I lived in the city, dude. It's not. A, I'm not talking city like metropolis. I'm talking city like city limits. The thing is is that I remember distinctly as a kid, and you know where I used to live. I used yeah, to live. I, I actually grew up one street behind you. Yeah. I moved out by the time you moved. I remember living on Jefferson Road. Jesus. I, would, I remember like... Being picked up, going to the Circle K, getting beer, then like driving like maybe another. It was like by the bridge or something. And then we went out there and we like some people set up tents and then we just like made a bonfire. We drank completely underage. Yeah, but like, I mean, and that's I was just like, a fire. A bonfire is like a giant big fire. Like, you guys didn't make like a real bonfire. It was, you made like a campfire. Yeah, we just hung out, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Your bonfires are giant, dude. There's a difference. Well, I'm not trying to, like, summon help to be rescued or something. Summon help to be, yeah, summon help fire and burn stuff. <clears throat> I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I feel you. I just thought, as far as that whole that country living stuff, it's not my bag either, man. I prefer for the amenities of the city and the urban culture. Yeah, I mean, like I would live in the country as long as I could have a short distance to the city. Yeah. Like if I lived within like 10 minutes of like a, at least like a, a Circle K or something, I'd be cool. But I ain't trying to drive 40 minutes to Walmart to get groceries or 40 minutes to a grocery store. Like, no, yeah. no. If I forget milk, I got to drive an hour and a half. Yeah. I'm not all about like being dirty either. Like, yeah. I don't know why that does that make us metrosexuals? <laughs> I don't believe so. Well, metrosexual is like a guy who takes a little bit of extra time to make sure he looks good. Yeah, but that has nothing to do with like you being okay with like farming. Oh, Joe, no, I'm not farming. Have you ever been on a farm? Uh, I've been on a part of an area that had farm equipment. I have never done <laughs> farm activities. I have seen a shuffle before. Yeah, no, dude, it like they had like actual big farm equipment. Like it wasn't in use. But my grandma lived in the country. I mean, like I used to drive, I saw all sorts of stuff. I mean, like animals and stuff. Yeah, my, my grandmother's neighbor had horses and cows. And stuff. Oh, like, what do they do with those? They milk them. And, well, I don't know about the horses, but they milk the cows. <laughs> okay, good. Did you say they milk the horses? Milk, they milk the horses. It's Dude, a real weird. That, <laughs> the process on that is really strange. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I don't want to hear about that one at all. Yeah, dude, it's uh. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm not an outdoorsman. Like, maybe if I get older and I buy a home and I, like, go a little farther out from the city because I want to, like, have people over and have parties and stuff and not be, like, worried about my neighbors being all up in my business. Dude. Maybe I'll be more outdoorsy. Like, a lot of my cousins, dude, they're outdoorsy. Like, they literally, like, they make their own maple syrup. They they trap badgers. They, what? They, like, they do cunt stuff. What do they do with the badger after they trap it? He kills it and skins it and uh, sells the pelts. Oh, yeah, okay. Get the F out of here. I'm not joking. For real. Wow, but, yeah, but, like, he makes his own maple syrup, dude. He, like, literally, like, Yeah, but he's just not, like, trapping badgers and making syrup all day. That's what like, he does now. He's retired, dude. That's what he does, man. How much money does he get for badger pelts? Uh, I think he says something like 60 bucks a pelt or something. Yeah, that's not bad. And, like, he catch, sometimes he'll catch, like, a few in a day. He has, because, like, they they screw up, like, you know, they clog up, like, the, the creeks and all that stuff with, like, when they're making their homes and stuff. So they're, like, a nuisance. It's badgers like, make dams? Beavers. Beavers. Badgers. Beavers. Not bad, bad just beavers. Beavers. Yeah, with the big tail and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, beavers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then they make maple syrup, and maple syrup you can sell for a lot of money. Yeah, bring seven, eight. Uh, I mean, yeah, because it's like authentic, like 
Yeah. It's homemade. I've, and they've been doing that for like decades. I've seen that in the store. It ain't cheap. No. I mean, just real maple syrup, like, from a company isn't cheap. Well, I don't know if it's like organic, homegrown maple syrup. I don't know, man. My Mrs. Butterworth light, buttery, rich, flavored oh, syrup is like two forty nine, dude. But that's just like... <laughs> It's just chemicals in a bottle. I know, dude. I get the sugar-free syrup, and it's basically like it has like it kind of tastes like uh, yeah, that's kind of tastes like syrup. That's chemicals in a bottle. It's oh, yeah. not even real sugar. They just put like saccharin in it. Yeah, it's just like it's like horse hooves. Like okay, so when it comes to these people who are like outdoorsy, they say that they like the the isolation there's yeah, too right. many people in the city I, I agree they'll say nothing tastes better like growing your own produce nope i don't agree with that they'll be like you know nothing feels better than just bringing that animal home yourself and you know knowing that you did the work for it. <laughs> I don't want to cook. I don't like. I don't eat enough vegetables, and I definitely don't want to cook. Seventeen yard line. Mm mm. He's played a great game. No, dude, I, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good on that. I'm really good. And I've lived in the city for so long, where it's like, yo, I need at least a three to four fast food restaurants and at least two options of grocery store within five miles of me. Yeah, dude. Like we, from where we're at now, we ain't gotta go far to get food or buy food from a grocery store or go to a restaurant or any of that, dude. And my question is. Is, is that these same people say that well when the world ever ends I'm gonna know what to do mother the world ever ends I'm gonna have a head start because H-E-B is right now in the street and then H-E-B is right now in the street and then H-E-B is right down the street right we're, we're gonna, gonna be able to loot and get groceries exactly you know, like, Walmart yeah. is right down the street I've got more guns than you I've got more medicine than you I've got more food than you yeah but you're right in your but garden there's also more people trying to steal it all at the same time that's true but if you get the guns first Jonas oh yeah discuss it world ever ends Jonas zombie apocalypse first we get the guns then we get more guns then we get medicine then we get food all right well you go get the guns I'll go get medicine all right Jonas are you ready to kill no, not. Not, not, not unless it means we get the guns. Well, that's the only way we're going to get the guns. Yeah, I don't know, man. A post-apocalyptic world would be a strange place to live. Oh, please break it, friends. Ugh. It's all right, Joe. We're winning. 30? Five to seven. Five Our defense? Seven. Like... Here, here's what I did, man. I made sure I tried to pay a little more attention to our defense because I didn't want what happened last time where we just, like, give up 400 points a game. It's easier to win when the other team doesn't have to score. Doesn't score. Yeah, because then there's no pressure on you. Sometimes the best offense is a good defense, right. Jonas. That's where the saying comes from. That's where, yeah, exactly. That's where that argument is a legit argument. Boom, Jonu! Jonas the Jonu. Six guns, the Jonu, dude. It's just the nature of coaches. You know. You know. Yeah, hold on. You know. I like that better. Well, like, that? But my name is Jonu. And you're like, no, 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 no. You're Jonu. My name is Jonu. My, my name is Jonu. <laughs> I'm Mary Ann the Wee. Oh, no, that's a pick. No. Hey, oh, wow. wow. <laughs> Everybody bobbled it on that one. They, they all Oops. bent over at the same time to pick it up, dude, and they hit heads. His name is Jonu. Why don't you tell him he's good? So after the incompletion of yeah. first, now second and ten. So I definitely would prefer to live in the city. I don't like big, big cities, Jonas. I mean, we live in the 11th biggest city in the country. You know that, right? It doesn't feel that. I know, right? right? That's why I like it. It's like up the road is like an actual real city, but like where we live feels like it's like a suburb. Yeah, it is kind of nuts out there, man. And that, that's cool. There's a lot of like very motivated and very like just like cool. No turnovers just, either side. Just aggressively business savvy in individuals in the city. Oh, absolutely. But you know what? We won. Yeah, we We're did. We're 2 0. All right, everybody. That is all the time that we have for today's episode. Mm -hmm. Please make sure to subscribe and like the video. If you think we're good and you want your friends to know, share it. Send the word out. I can't think what the hell I want to go. This is the studio. Matt Hagbert. Share it with your buddies. Show them that we exist. But for Jonas, catch you on the next one. We. Oh. Jacksonville Jaguars.